Hey everybody, uh, Will here. I thought I'd do a short video on uh, telling the difference between copper and brass. I uh, picked up these hammers um, this past weekend. This is like a eight pound copper hammer. This is like a little uh, uh, two pound copper hammer. Um, why would somebody make uh, a hammer out of copper? Uh, well, copper um, in its element form is uh, pretty soft, pretty soft metal. Um, you can use it to whack on a lot of stuff and uh, you're not going to mess it up. You can see the way this, uh, this has been mushroomed over. Um, the copper will, will give way before uh, you know, the steel or the brass uh, um, will mark up. Uh, the copper will give way. Got a brass bar here um, to show one of the best ways to tell um, how a difference between brass and copper is brass it gets this nice like muted yellow uh, color to it. Um, there it is uh, in a cut um, and you can see how it gets a little oxidation on it. It turns like a uh, kind of a blackish brown uh, color. And good opportunity to show a knife that I made. You've seen this in other videos. This end cap actually came from this bar. I just cut it off, tapped and threaded it, and filed it down, and. Uh, I sprayed it with a little bit of a um, ammonium uh, ammonium uh, not ammonium uh, ammonia uh, oxidizes uh, brass and copper so I sprayed this down with a little bit of uh, ammonia and uh, oxidized it to give it a little bit of age um, the guard here is made out of copper little spikes here are made out of brass you can still see the uh, uh, the yellow of the brass still comes through. Where the brown just gets a it just gets a nice brown patina to it. This is kind of red. Got some reds in there. Um, brass never looks like that. Uh, brass is a alloy. It's a uh, it's all different types of uh, uh, alloys out there of brass. Um, one type is uh, yellow brass, which I think this is, uh, which is, uh, um, well, all brass is a combination of copper and zinc. Uh, this yellow brass is a 33% um, zinc. Um, then there's ammunition brass, which is 30% uh, zinc. Um, and a type of brass called uh, rich low brass which is uh, only 15% zinc. Uh, they use that a lot in uh, jewelry applications. Uh, brass is harder than copper uh, and uh, of course uh, the uh, yellow here, you scratch it a little bit you can see the yellow come through um, copper it gets a nice greenish patina when uh, exposed to the weather is best seen on this hammer here you can see the green uh, show through similar to the Statue of Liberty which is uh, uh, coated in uh, copper sheets um, it gets this nice uh, weathered look to it uh, and it lasts a long time. Once it gets this, uh, it's almost like a protective coating on there. Once it oxidizes and gets this on there, the metal underneath is uh, protected. And you can see here, I filed a little bit on the end. You can see it's just that copper color. You know, it looks just like a penny underneath. Uh, shows through. And even on this little one here, I. Uh, I found a little bit on there and you can see that that copper color just come right through. 
Um, this piece is nice. It shows the uh, it's copper and brass. Got the brass up here. You can see the little bit of yellow come through. If I was to shine that up, that would be a bright muted yellow. And uh, the copper is this nice uh, rich brown color. Um, so that's really the best way to tell. Um, basically, go by color. Um, both of them are non-magnetic, um, so you really can't tell that way. And uh, brass is very close to being copper because it contains right around, you know, two-thirds, three-quarters uh, copper uh, in it. So, but best thing to do, look for the color.